Determining dry matter of wet feeds by utilizing a coster tester. There are multiple ways to determine dry matter for wet feeds. This is an instructional video of the step-by-step -step process of drying, in this example corn silage, using a coster tester. Tools needed for this process will be the coster tester evaporation unit, a data log sheet for recording weight increments and time, a coster specimen container, and a scale for weighing the product. Either a digital or mechanical scale are sufficient. The first step in the multi-step process of drying feed is going to be to tear out the weight of the specimen container. This is done by placing the basket on the scale and tearing or zeroing out the scale. If using a mechanical scale, as we will be using in this demonstration, the red number should read 0% and the black number should read 100%. Next, we will need to weigh out a sample of our product. Make sure that you have a uniform, consistent, and most importantly, a representative sample from whatever it is you are intending to dry down. Spread the material evenly in the specimen container. After placing the specimen container on the scale, load the basket until the black number reads zero and the red number reads 100. Place a specimen container on the evaporation unit. When drying down feeds of any kind, be sure to always use caution as the evaporator may be extremely hot. Also, always ensure that there is proper ventilation when cooking samples and never cook them in a confined area. Dry the sample for 30 minutes or the established drying time. After the first 30 minute period has been completed, place a sample onto the scale and record the weight. The pointer reads moisture content in black and dry matter in red. In this case, the dry matter is 30%. Record this number along with the time associated. Return the sample to the evaporator and cook for an additional 10 minutes. Continue 10 minute intervals until two samples in a row are the same dry matter. The second reading in this case is 29%, indicating 29% dry matter. Record the 29% on the data sheet associated with the second cook time of 10 minutes. Place a specimen container back on the evaporator for a third cook. The third cook time as the second will be a 10 minute interval. Repeat this process until there is no change in the dry matter measurement. Once the third cook of 10 minutes is completed, in this demonstration equaling 29% dry matter, no further test or cooking is needed. It has been determined that the corn silage sample in this demonstration is 29% dry matter. On behalf of Pine Creek Nutrition Service, thank you for viewing our instructional video on determining dry matter of wet feeds by utilizing a coster tester.